should have grabbed a beer. I need a beer. I need a beer. I need a beer. Dude, we're back, bro. Let's, <laughs> let's acknowledge up, that real quick. What's up, baby? How let's you doing? Acknowledge What's going on? How you doing, sir? How you doing? Welcome Good back to, see to the TTP. Good to see you. You notice that I got it right, folks. After all these months, I finally said, welcome back to the TTP, not the TTP studio. What? Wait, what? <laughs> I always say the TTP studio. It's not the TTP, though, because that's part of the T's. So welcome back to TTP. Welcome back to TTP. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That's something that's irked me, dude. That is something time. that has irked me. Do you think maybe we should have just never abbreviated For it? For years. Or maybe I should just learn how to abbreviate be honest. We should have never abbreviated it, be, dude. We should have never abbreviated it, I think. Should have never abbreviated Because it. I talk to people and everybody's like, when are you firing back up the TTP? The TTP? Yeah, everybody's so, on board with it. Fuck it. At this point in time, it's the everybody's TTP. Everybody's on board. Y'all you are on board with it, so fuck it. We're just We've literally had people like come up here and be like, on like their Instagrams, like, I'm in the TTP studio. Yeah, true. Like, yeah. No, it works. The 12th Parsec <laughs> Podcast Studio. The TTP studio. No. No, this doesn't even make sense. So you say so it the, should be. No, it you should say be, check it out, check it out. You say the TTP. So you're saying the the TTP. The the, the twelve parsec. Yeah. No, that works though, because technically, if you're saying I'm in the twelfth parsec studio, isn't it the? <laughs> okay, we're going too far, dude. What's up, everybody? We're fucking back. Um, oh, God, we're dude. back. We're back. That's all we can really say. It's just like it smells so good. It's been, in here. it's been, uh, dude. Should I? Should it's I, been a crazy ride. Yeah. Should I say why I've been gone? Especially should for I? you. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. just gonna say, especially for you, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Um, sorry for the big break. Uh, I kind of went through some shit in life. Um. I'm no longer married. Um, everything kind of hit the fan with that. And uh, this happened back in, what, February, I think? Yeah, around um, there. <clears throat> yeah. And uh, just just some, some shit happened, and uh, it, it really fucked, fucked me up. Uh, I kind of went into a uh, deep depression, I would say. And I just I didn't feel like I was uh, I wasn't be able to give you guys my hundred percent. So we we talked about it and we both decided that it was best. He gave me my time to heal. And uh, yeah, I've been here. I've been waiting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude! I told you, bro. Still haunted up Still here. Haunted. God Jesus damn Christ, it. dude! Jesus ah! fucking Christ! Why'd you feel the ice so high, bro? I didn't. Look at that. I didn't feel it so high. Look at that. Look at that! Look but, at that! Look at that! No, yeah. So uh, I want to apologize to everybody out there because I know that we've given a couple of uh, a couple of like times where we're like, you know, we're gonna come back, and you know, I feel like I was mentally prepared. You really can't ever mentally prepare yourself for uh, bad shit happening to you, and well, especially uh, uh, something like that. Yeah. So I think especially stuff, at that caliber of of uh, you know, yeah. So I ended I ended an eleven year relationship. Uh, you know, was, of, of time. Yeah, that's what I was trying yeah, to say. Yeah, I, I was I was with her for so long, and then coming going through all the stuff that happened and everything like that. I was like, it, it fucked me up, dude. I, I just, mm. I, you know, I didn't want to come on here and I didn't want to cry and be all fucking emotional and shit like that. So now, like, we I, did three episodes. We never did. got release. We did. We shot three episodes, <laughs> and they just they they weren't feeling right. We didn't have enough tissues. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But yeah, so you know, uh, I really, I really do want to say thank you to you, dude, because I really appreciate you uh, uh, taking time off when you were ready to go and I was going through shit. So oh, where am I gonna go? I, you know, I'm your brother, dude. Where am I gonna go? You know, you're probably the funnier one on the podcast. So <laughs> you got, yeah, you got better hair than I do. That's so the big really. Dude, you had a chance to have a mullet. You I fucking, did. you fucking bailed out. You know what's really funny though is actually you like, had a chance. One of the reasons I was like, you know, I just like I'm looking really old. Thought maybe that's why my wife was losing interest in shit in me. And then I was like, I'm going to fucking shave it and go back to my clean cut. How I always look. She had the mullet, dude. I don't have any regrets. I'm just kidding. Cause, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Right. Could have got something out of it. You should have had the mullet, dude. Um, I don't know how much ice I should get. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> dude, I was getting ready to say the same thing. Ladies and gentlemen, who the fuck, uh, who out there right now is in their in their car or, screaming. or truck screaming at the I hope every lungs. guy has his fucking dick out right now. For fucking whiskey tasting. God damn it, dude. We're going back to Whiskey Mondays? We're going to be back Whiskey, whiskey Monday. Whiskey fucking Monday, dude. Oh, what, what, I'm like, where the fuck's the, to the thong, the thong, thong, thongs? Baby. 
I like the way your booty goes. I like the way you make the man. I don't know the whole. I don't, I don't know, know the words. I have no idea what the Every fuck time he says it, I do the same. I'm like, I'm not the way your booty goes, <laughs> baby. It's like. Uh, thong, 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 thong. Can you? Can we sing that song anymore? Uh, what is it? Um, White. No. <laughs> No, that no, don't. That's gonna get us fucking canceled. Oh my right god! There, first episode back, we go through the same shit we used to go um, through. Um, well, we gotta like work back up, bro. We gotta work from. So we get. We I don't know start, what to talk about. We started from the bottom, and then we were there, and now we're back at the bottom. I'm just we kidding. really are. I'm just I don't even think we like. I, I think we still have probably some listeners out there. I know there were some people pumped that you you posted that we're yeah. coming back this week. And I know there were some fans out there that were really excited for I've that. Had, so had, thank you, thank you guys for. Uh, Sticking with us, and uh, I guess we'll. I guess we can't I really think, say anything. I think until one of the releases, like one of the hardest. I mean that lid right there, skin. I think one of like the hardest things was was like seeing messages Appreciate and stuff you. and people like, "Hey, where have you gone?" Or people messaging like, "Dude, what happened to the podcast?" Because I'm not really like a very well. Now I'm putting all this shit out there. I just fucking throw all my tea on the table. He's putting it all out there, guys. All of his cards are laid out face up, yeah. on the table right now. Like at the time though, like I, I can't stand those people that are like. Oh, I'm going through this and like posting all over and doing mm. that. And it's like, dude, shut the fuck up, man. Let's do no, it. I feel that, dude. I feel that. Um, I, I've been there, bro. I've, I've been there where I was just I was out on social media just being a total hoochie, dude. <laughs> I was just out on social media being a total hoochie, dude. <laughs> So I'm glad you're not doing that, bro. This is before I met my wife. Hold on. How do you be a hoochie on social media? <laughs> Just real quick. Just thirst trap after thirst trap, bro. So you were thirst trapping? Yeah. How were you thirst trapping? <laughs> Just like... <laughs> Just like the, the pictures and everything, bro. Like everything was just like the blue steel. It's like... <laughs> The male just thirst like trap. a total douchebag, dude. Like, God damn it, man. How long, I met my wife. How long would you say that lasted for? For me? Yeah. Uh, geez, probably a couple of years. At least. Jesus Christ, At dude. At least, dude. I had a, it was a Brett Ernst. Oh, and then, and then the other thing too is like, because I used to be like really, really overweight. Uh-huh. I lost, a, I lost a and lot. And then you oh were like, weight. I'm a and fucking. I was like, bad, bro. Look at me. Bad. I, could see I remember. My dick. I remember. <laughs> I remember uh, we went to we went to uh, Venice Beach, dude, and there was a picture of me on the beach <laughs> with, <laughs> with my pant legs fucking rolled up, dude. Do you have that picture? And I, I don't think so. I don't know. I I don't know. Well, I'm not showing that shit on here, dude. Come on, dude. That's gone, bro. <laughs> That's gone. I gotta see this fucking picture. All right, let me see. Listen, Brett Brett told me that he told me that it takes six months. He's like six months. You're gonna start feeling better. You're gonna start getting yourself back out there and this and that. And like, I like the guy a lot, but that six months rule was bullshit for me because it took a lot longer than six months. Yeah, yeah. So in February, what, how, how many months is that, dude? Let me see. Let Fuck, me the see. year's almost over, doggy. Hold on. Let me let me go <sighs> Venice. Let me see if I could just search it. I gotta have it in here. Venice. Oh, it took you two oh. years, dog. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, oh, yep, yep. Got it. You thought the pant leg rolled up was a thirst trap? Did you get a lot of Dude, feedback on it? I thought I was looking sexy right here, bro. <laughs> Dude, I me. thought I was looking sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was looking so sexy, dude. Oh my god, dude. Dude, what were you doing? I thought I was like sexy, bro. Dude, even your fucking your Jesus. sunglasses, your hair, everything screams douchebag. I'm gonna show this shit to the camera. Dude, I thought I looked GQ right there, bro. It's pretty <laughs> GQ. Why was your clothes? Why was your? Why was everything so black? Jesus, dude. Like, was that like how you were on the inside at that Fuck time? Fuck it, yeah. That's how I felt, bro. I only listened to my cam. <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. Son of a bitch. The bad part? Uh-huh. The bad part? Mom took that from me. She's like, oh, son, you look so good. <laughs> it's not like, dude, moms are the best. Moms so they are the best. They, they hype you, you up. They like, they're like the be- best hype. Like when I was going through the end of my relationship. I felt like I could take on the world, dude. dude. I was getting fat. I was looking. I had a fucking god-awful mullet I was trying to grow. Like I was like. Wait. What? Wait, what? My when? mullet looks stupid. Like at the end of the relationship. Okay. I was like, oh, you know, this is just what it's like being married. I'm so comfortable with my skin. And then like I wasn't married anymore. And I was like, dude, I need to get my shit together, bro. You went up like two pant sizes. Like you need to fucking start uh-huh. eating better, start working out. Do you think like what do you how do you feel about that? Like, is that like a uh um 
oh man, what am I trying to like? Um, like, is that bad for people to think that way when they're in a relationship? No, absolutely not. That's the best part about a marriage is okay. the comfortability with each other. Okay, the, the being able to be vulnerable and be whoever like you want to be. I feel. Mm. I don't think that you should ever quit and give up. Mm. You shouldn't ever just be like, oh, I'm married. Fuck it. Blah, blah, blah. Mm. But like, <clears throat> you shouldn't. I don't know. I, I, I feel like at some point in time, like you should be able to um, just be who you are and still be accepted. Mm-hmm. You know, which I don't think it was. It is weird, right? It, it is weird. Really, I don't think it was ever my looks. Like it was. I was told like, you know, it wasn't your looks. It wasn't this. It wasn't that. Uh-huh. You know, I, was just, I honestly think I got bored. I don't know. Uh-huh. But. Like it is weird, and, like like for a dude, like when you get a relationship, and then like you like, like you said, you know, like because I, I like I said I was really overweight, especially mm-hmm. in my previous relationship, um before obviously I met my wife, and uh, I got out of that relationship, and like you said, you realize like fuck, I'm fucking fat, yeah, <clears throat> so I I lost all my weight, but it, it and does, now I'm like I'm married and I'm like it gets a little am bit am I fat? It gets a little bit confusing <laughs> when. When you're in it though, and like it's like, oh, I love you for who you are. I love this. Is I love there like that. a relationship cover you can't see that you're like <laughs> uh, butt ass ugly? No, dude, because you look great. Oh, I think okay. you look. Thank I you was, we were talking about this for the show. I was like, dude, you look a fucking. Thank you. Goose. You're looking good, dude. Like I, I wish I could pull off. I wish I was blessed with the masculinity. I was wish I was blessed with the the fucking manly looks. I could grow facial hair in a mullet and still look like a badass. I'm like a pretty boy, and like my fucking shit's all patchy. But but you're handsome. You pull it off. I do, but like I can't pull off the rugged look. Yeah, you know, you have to pull off what works for you. Yeah, and I got to pull off what works for me. Mm -hmm. Like, like the GQ that wasn't doing it for me, dude. (laughs) I agree. I saw that and that was funny. (laughs) The GQ wasn't doing it for me, dude. Look, but no, I think that like in a relationship and stuff, the best part about a relationship is is being comfortable with each other and being able to be you. Yeah, yeah. You you should always be able to be you. You should pretend to be somebody. But like, keep up on yourself. Exactly. I don't think that you should ever lose like, you know, the the fun parts of a relationship or the dating. Like, you should always Mm. be like the gentleman and still bring home gifts, things like that. Don't ever lose that, guys. If you do that, you're a fucking piece of shit. Mm. But, you know, you should always treat your woman with respect Mm. and stuff like that. But I also, I don't don't think that like, you should always have to like, you know, be on top of your game. Mm. You should be able to let your guard down a little bit. Mm. Like you know, even yeah. at my biggest, like I wasn't fat. Mm. You know, yeah. It no, was yeah. just you know, I don't know. That's just how I feel about it. All right, let's do this shit, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's fucking whiskey time. Ooh. Fucking god damn it! Who the fuck here missed whiskey? Raise your hand. I did. You I know, missed whiskey. I, actually, I missed whiskey. I stopped drinking whiskey because I was like, I'm not going to go down a dark path. Good, bro. So Good for you. I haven't really had any. I've had like a sip here and there. All that whiskey's been chilling on that fucking shelf. There's still bottles we have not even touched, like the old elk back there. We've opened a bunch. We've Like, they're still sitting there. We got to sample them. Like, all that shit is still sitting there, guys. Maybe maybe a couple sippers here and there for like a like a, a party or an occasion or something like that. Oh. But I'm glad you didn't crawl down a bottle, bro. Good for you. I did that in my last relationship. It ain't worth it. Yeah. By the way, guys, not like this isn't like a common thing for me. This happens about every I'm I'm guessing five to ten years at this point. Is what my ratio is. So. No, nah, bro. The next one you're gonna fucking <laughs> last like two months. <laughs> I'm gonna rebound so fucking hard. <laughs> Oh, good God. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's whiskey time in the fucking TTP. Um, see, I said it. Uh, today, we are drinking some fucking ammunition. God damn. Where'd you pick this up, Goose? Oh, the, the hot chick at the fucking liquor store suckered me in. Okay. She's okay. like, they always do that, dude. They okay. put like a cute little blonde chick. And she's like, hey, want to try my whiskey? And then guys are stupid. She's We're like, hey. Yeah. Guys are just like, sure do. I ended up buying a bottle. She's like, hey. <laughs> would you like to try my would you like to try my whiskey oh ladies fuck. and gentlemen so we I got some ammunition i didn't try this bottle i tried a different this bottle. is straight rye whiskey finished in peanut noir barrels am i saying that right peanut noir peanut noir 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 it's noir like noir is stick. it peanut or pinot it's is the t silent pinot it's Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir. Barrels. Pinot Noir. All right. Any fucking Italians out there, let us know how we say that. It's probably French oh, or some get shit. Get the fuck out of here. It's French or some shit. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is this is made in Sonoma, California. Yeah, there's nothing Italian about that bottle. What the? It's obviously American. Look at the name. Ammunition from California? That's what they dream about. <laughs> 
All right, guys. Hey, dude, we got to do some dude. ASMR. We got to do some ASMR fucking cork pops. Oh, <laughs> daddy! <laughs> Ooh, that's good. That smells good. Mm, that smells really good, dude. That smells like it's gonna fucking burn, dude. Oh, dude, check out the barcode. It's an American flag. The... Oh, that's sick. The barcode's that's an American the flag, barcode, guys. That's sick. Anyone watching, anyway? <laughs> guys in their trucks are just what the, what fuck? the fuck? I'm not watching this fucking shit just for that. Uh, all right, we got forty five percent alcohol uh, by volume, and then it's ninety proof, guys. Do you have to work out after this? It's pretty good, huh? Are you working out after this? I was gonna try to. That's a big glass, dog. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. Like I usually pour we'll a pretty hefty pour. Are you? Me? Fuck no, dude. Fuck that shit. If not, I'll just go tomorrow. I'll just hit it tomorrow. Fuck it. Dude, dude. Actually, I think they say like that's like pointless to do a double workout, right? That's what I hear. Anyways, all right, guys. Here's the ammunition. Ammunition. Cheers, Bubba. Cheers. Let's do it. Hit the tongue. Oh, that's that's good already. Dude, that first drink was fucking smooth, bro. Something in my glass. God damn it. There's always something in your glass. Smooth. Very smooth. Hold on. Wait. The burn's coming. It's not bad. I haven't had whiskey in a while. I'm like, <laughs> no, I'm like, it's not that bad. <laughs> we're, good. Goodness, we're gonna wrap this up. I can really taste the pinot noir. Uh, pinot, the pinot noir barrel. It's good. Crafted in small batches, <sighs> ammunition distillery. What do you I like think? it, dude. What do you think? I'm trying to get a. I like it. I really do. I'm trying to get a palate here, but I can't. <clears throat> Honestly, I think it has a pretty unique taste. Mm -hmm. That's a good rye. It has a pretty unique taste. I like that. I Look can't at really that cork. picture it to anything. You can really see that cork discoloration. It's in heavy. It. It's uh. It it's feels really heavy. heavy. Yeah, it feels heavy when you take. I could. I could almost like feel it on my tongue. It's definitely. Uh, it's not light. Really uh, woodsy. Mm hmm. Big time. I feel like I just licked that must the be inside the of a more. barrel. Oh, I thought you were going to say something else. Jesus I Christ, like, oh. dude. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why is the table shaking? I'm on fuck. Mm. Mm. It's good. All right. I can't I can't picture anything that like it, it tastes like. Um, I would say lower end, it's a good bottle. Um, How much was it? I think like 40 bucks. 30 fair, bucks. Fair price point. <clears throat> That's a fair price point. That's a fair price point for it. It's not something that like I would. Uh, That's like a pull out at a party type of whiskey right there. Definitely, it's not something that like I would. I wouldn't sit down and smoke this with a cigar. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's it's good. Um, I guarantee it ain't no you, whistle pick, but it's it's good. It's gonna be a good mixer, I bet. It reminds me of a uh, monkey shoulder. If you're a fan of monkey yes. shoulder, yes. it tastes a lot like monkey shoulder. It's Danceberry, almost, uh, get out there and try it, dude. It almost tastes just like monkey shoulder. Mary Danceberry love monkey shoulder, yeah, dude. dude. He, I'm glad he came on this he podcast because nobody was gonna drink that. Love monkey shoulder. They say that's like the number I miss one that mixer. Guy. You miss Dan, good oh, we, dude. It's, we said once a year, good so oh, I mean, yeah. it's kind of coming up again. Fly are coming up on that. Yeah. Get him back on the show. <sighs> I like it though. It's good. It's got a good, uh, good taste. But like we said, you know, it's definitely one you pull out at a party. Well, you know, let's rate it one to ten. What do you got? Pull it out with the fucking boys over some shit like that. Pass it around. The fucking boys. <laughs> Sorry, I got it. This is my boy. This is my friend. This is my boyfriend. <laughs> boyfriend. I would rate it, bro. Probably give it a six. Give it a hard six. I'll say a four. Yeah. I'm giving it a solid four. Four. <clears throat> I would put this down there with, yeah. I was like, I was, I was, I'm kind of between like a five and a six. Yeah. I'm going to give it a four, guys. Yeah. It's not that great. Um, It's drinkable. Yeah. Imagine the guys that are like all excited bring, that love like, this shit. Like this would be like a, this would be like a good, <clears throat> this would be a good whiskey. Like bring the boys over and like party, party, I party. Feel, I feel <laughs> Give you fifty dollars. Give you fifty dollars if you party, party, party. Um, I feel really bad because the girl like sent sent the picture to her boss because they take a picture of you with it, and she's oh, like, she's you, like, you of you with it? Yeah, and she's like, how was that? I was like, oh, me and my brother do a podcast. We're gonna sample this on the podcast. She sent the name and everything to her boss. No. So if you ever, if you ever watch this, doggy, boss man, I'm sorry, bro, but just do make better. better. Make a better whiskey. Do better. Sorry, we're harsh on this. What the bitch. fuck do we know, dude? We're just like a we're couple of idiots. 
I was like, Does this, do these <laughs> fuckers know who the fuck I am? I was I was rated number three in Whiskey USA magazine. Oh, you're not rated it's number like, you're not rated number three here, buddy. Bro, nobody reads magazines anymore. Sorry, right, dude. Except for my bass player. Sorry. <laughs> nope. Not gonna happen here. So how have you been, dude? We already talked about my life. What's going on in yours? Dude. Nothing. Wow. <laughs> Married. Nothing, man. All right. No, uh, I'm good, man. I'm good. Just just living life, dude. Living life. Uh hanging out. I I can't really uh I can't really think. Oh, I got a new, got a new dog. There you go. Got a new dog. That's exciting. Got a new dog. Uh, <coughs> me and my wife had to say goodbye to our. Uh, this podcast is so sad. At this we had point. to say goodbye to a lot has happened, man. Has. A lot has happened. Has. It's been a weird year, huh? Yeah. Uh, we had to say goodbye to our uh, one of our <laughs> our old little pups. At this uh, point in time, like twenty twenty, fucking rip, dog. Yeah, like that was a badass. Twenty twenty was year. banger, dude. <laughs> this shit's a fucking shit show. Uh, I, we had to say goodbye to our little dog Chewbacca. He passed away. Um, he had a he had a heart disease, and uh, we got a new dog. His name's Luke Skywalker. Got to keep the uh, mm-hmm. got to keep the Star Wars names going. Mm-hmm. Great dog, dude. <laughs> Great dog. He loves to swim, <coughs> loves the pool. Um, other than that, dude, that's it. Really, sounds good. That's it. Just living normal life, bro. <laughs> just, 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 I'm just a normal, normal life, bro. I'm just a normal fucking I just guy, work. Dude. I make money, dude. Like you know, that's it, man. That's it. Watch some, uh, watch some TV shows. You know, some new TV shows. You got any TV shows you're watching? Goose? No, I try. So I, wanna... I feel lame, dude. Like, is my life lame? It is. Um, <laughs> like, dude, let's like, get onto this Dahmer fuck, topic because everybody's just, talking about Dahmer I'm just, like, right really, now. That really hit me when you asked me that question. <laughs> I'm like, the fuck, dude? What am I doing? No, I tried watching the Jeffrey Dahmer series. Damn it, man. What did you think? Jeffrey Dahmer? Yeah. I like it. You like the I series? I like the series. I like the series. I feel um, like I'm the only one in the United States right now that made it to like episode three and got bored. It is really slow. It's fucking slow as fuck. Don't, mm-hmm. I'm not going to lie about that. But I mean, how exciting can a serial killer be? Yeah. You know what I mean? Apparently pretty exciting because like he's the fucking internet buzz, dude. Which doesn't make sense at all. I think I think it was Evan Peters that made him so exciting. Who's Evan Peters? The guy who plays him. Oh, okay. He's he was in uh he was in like all the American horror stories stuff like that. Oh, so that guy's been in shit before. Evan Peters. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's in uh he's in Freak Show. He's the boy with the claws. He's in uh, uh Freak Show American Horror Story. Oh my God, that's he's that like guy? the Lobster Boy, I think. Okay. Yeah, that's him. Huh. He's a really good fucking actor. He's a really good actor. So, like, I was watching, like, the side-by-side stuff, and it seemed like he portrayed the part pretty well. Yeah, like, almost to a T. Mm-hmm. I know they said that there's some shit in it that is a, isn't 100% accurate, mm-hmm. but uh, other than that, I think he I think he did a really good job. I think, like... Cause just, like just being him, you know what I mean? The last episode I watched was, I think, when he, like, bashes the dude's chest in the hotel or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I was like, this is kind of gay. People out there on episode two right now are like, what the fuck?! <laughs> I mean, I mean, if you know like the story of Jeffrey Dahmer, you can't really ruin it. Like, I guess, like, I was fucking shocked. I'm like, this guy was gay. Yeah, like I didn't know that. Yeah, he was. So, like, yeah, there's like little things that, like, you know, I mean, I know I'm not supposed to say that, but like, I was, I was shocked by that. I was like, oh, I thought he killed everybody. He loved the pee. Penis. Did he though? Did Penis. he actually? He did. Like, he started like. No, doing I think he, they say he likes like, the insides. He liked the insides <laughs> of, of people. <laughs> fucking weird, huh? He liked the insights. Fucking weird. <clears throat> he could have just like, he could have just been heterosexual. What, what is that straight? What is straight? Yeah, hetero. Hetero. He could have been heterosexual and just fucking fisted chicks, dude. He could have got his fix right there, bro. Got in there and felt the insides, bro. Like, you know, one of those. I hear. I don't know. Can you open hand when you fist somebody? I don't know. It's a good question, huh? Or does the fist just have to stay close? Never fisted anybody. Yeah, anyone out there? If you fisted somebody, drop it in the comment. <laughs> drop a comment below. Drop it. In Are the you comment. like allowed to like you know like ooh, can you fully stand? Yeah, can you fully can you move your hand inside there? Always oh, something. I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking figure that out. Bro. I'm gonna go fist my wife and I'm, see if I'm I like, can open my hand. Like, babe, we got something we're trying out tonight. Oh my god, your poor wife. Uh, I know, huh? poor thing. Um, I don't know. I've never. Uh... <clears throat> so like. Yeah, so they said that he was he was gay, and he liked the insides, like the organs and stuff like that. He liked the way it felt. 
So he would like masturbate with their organs and stuff like oh, that. Oh, dude, that's fucking weird. Or some shit. Really? Yeah. And he he really did eat people too. He was a uh, cannibal. Cannibal. I think he was he was he's he was at the time. I think he was only like the second. I could be wrong on this. He was only like the second ever recorded cannibal in the United States. Hmm. Yeah. No. He ate like the heart or some shit. One that they knew. No, because wasn't the dude that did the, the 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 chainsaw killing shit? Wasn't he a cannibal? They said that they said that he put him in. They would put him in stew. Was but that? I don't know if they was that actually. Just the movie? I don't know if they actually ate the the people. Because what was that guy's name? Who te- like Texas Chainsaw? You're saying? Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't remember his name. Google, Google. Anybody who's like a murdered, what do they call him? A uh, serial killer fan is like, dude. It's blah 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 blah. Well, Texas Chainsaw Massacre really. Eat people. Nice fucking search, dude. Thanks, Goose. Uh, certainly there was no real family of cannibalistic chainsaw murderers slaughtering people in Texas, nor any actual series of chainsaw-related killings. Ah. It, it was just a dude, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> so who was a base? Because right there, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, true story. Man, they made that shit look legit yeah, as fuck. I'm gonna... It's fucking Hollywood, dude. They mm-hmm. had me fooled this my whole life. Texas Chainsaw... True story. Story. All right. Ed, Ed Gein. Gein. That's the guy. <clears throat> Ed Gein. Um, work of fiction. The film is unmistakably based on a true story about a serial killer. While the film was built as a true narrative, it was most more accurately inspired by the real life what the atrocities of Wisconsin-based serial killer Ed Gein. <sighs> This is right there, doggy. Also known as a butcher of Plainfield. Yes, he also made masks, <coughs> clothes, suits, and bowls, furniture, and tools out of the skin. I'm and sorry. Bones. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna come out here and say it. That motherfucker looks like a serial killer. That motherfucker was dead. So does Jeffrey Dahmer, in my opinion. Like, yeah, how do they not know? Like, if like, that dude came rolling up, I'd be like, this dude's weird. There's something wrong here. Like, like how do they not know? Yeah, how That's do they not know? It's going to take a lot more than $50 to get me to go I'll, back I'll to this I'll pay you place. $50. <laughs> like, how do they not know, bro? Like, anybody I meet from fucking Wisconsin or any or Milwaukee, I'm going to ask him to save $50. $20. <laughs> Is party, that where he was from? Party Hardy. He was from Milwaukee. There's something fucked up on that whole side then, huh? Where was Ed Gein? Yeah, Wisconsin. Holy fuck! I didn't even know that. Yeah, Madison, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. What, who's the other dude? The hand? Who? who no, I guess he wasn't necessarily it's, uh, handsome, but the guy who played him was handsome. Who? Uh, God damn it, dude! Oh, Zach Efron. Zach played Efron. Him. What the hell's his name? <clears throat> that was uh, me and my wife. Were, we got on this debate the other night too. Who's more of a who's a more handsome serial killer? No, who? Who? <laughs> what his name was? Oh, dude. He was like one of the famous. He's the one that took all the chicks, right? People right now screaming like I know. his fucking name. All the fucking yeah. He only killed chicks. That was the one that would like lure him, then like. I don't him. think he lured him. He was just like, but he had like a wife and everything. He had right? like a like a a charm about him. So girls did that got dude like really comfortable with? Didn't him. that dude have like a wife and everything? Though? I think he so. was doing he had like a shit, family, like on the drive home. Yeah. Like I'm on my way home. It's like, hey, honey, I'm gonna stop and grab a burger. Fucking kills a chick real quick. Yeah. I think he was like raping him, doing all kinds of shit. It was like he was, he was fucked up. But, yeah, that uh, guy was twisted. They're all that's twisted. his name, dude. I can't remember his fucking name, bro. I can't remember it the other night either. Neither could my wife. God damn it. All right. Well, that that topic's dead. I think there's something. Ted wrong. Bundy. Ted Bundy. God damn it. Yeah, because he was known as like a handsome guy. Ted Bundy. Yeah. But was he really? Yeah. Or just for that? Maybe for that era. Real quick, what? like, can I just come out like really fast and say like, why the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Does your mama know you're, you're gay? Not going faggot, are you? <laughs> if you're going faggot, I don't really think I can handle this. No. What What is wrong with these young fucking kids, this generation, <clears throat> idolizing these fucking serial killers, dude? What the fuck? It's a fad. What the fuck, dude? They try and everybody's like so. We've talked about they this. They try before. to be like really over the top, huh? Over the top, different. Yeah. And so, like, 
to like, like, oh, that's fucking cool. Like, it's like what the, happened to Naruto running? Like, what the fuck? Dude? Yeah, but it's it's like the uh, what was that fucking show that I hated? It's a Japanese show. Mm. Uh, the game, the Squid Games, Squid Games. It's like that. Like that's what I said. Is like people they're they're so attention like driven, so out of their asses, so out their asses that like. Especially like the like the kids nowadays, like they're, it's like the they want to get a rise out of people because the, the 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 funny part is is you have two extremes, just like with everything. Yeah, there's the kids that want the attention, and there's the people that are like, "Oh my god, please don't do this," and please because it's disrespectful. And yeah, so yeah. those kids are like, "Oh well, I'm gonna do it." Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, you see yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? I feel it. I feel so, it. but that's pretty much all it is. And then like they want to like, <clears throat> I don't know. It's kind of like what I was saying that one time about like the directors that write a lot of like the fucked up shit and things like that. Like, I don't think they're that weird. Mm. I don't. They're probably like the most normal people. Yeah. But like they try so hard to be over the top that it's like there are like legit weird people out there, though, that can do that stuff. Like Rob Zombie, for example. Weird fucking dude. But I hear he's super cool. Mm -hmm. He's just a kooky guy. He just likes that kind of stuff. Like, actually, you know what I mean? Mm hmm. But I don't think that there should be people out there idolizing. He doesn't try. He doesn't try to be over the top with his shit. That's or just pretending to idolize serial killers. Exactly. It's exactly. like, dude, you were Naruto running two years ago. Mm. Like now you're a, idolizing a serial. Like you're just on the fad. You're on the internet buzz. You're doing what everybody else is doing. It's like watching TikTok. Mm-hmm. Everybody does the same fucking thing. Like I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna be completely honest. I do think. I do find it like interesting. Like serial killers, yeah. stuff like that. I do find it very Absolutely. interesting. But I'm not like, oh god, that's so fucking cool. They scare the fuck out of me, man. That's like the biggest. That's probably like the biggest thing that scares me is like shit like that because people can do shit like that, mm-hmm. you know. Like, well, yeah. Who knows? The next club I'm at, this guy could come up to me and be like, "Hey, you want to go take pictures?" Well, be I like, wouldn't doubt it. Now, there's gonna sure, be like guys. Why not? It's gonna be like a pickup line. I guarantee it. They're gonna Jesus, try and make man. something weird out of it. Jesus, and be like, oh, that's funny. And then oh, my god. Oh my god. Let take me... pictures of my. Pussy. Oh, I'm gonna suck you guys' dicks off. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, man. Fuck, it's crazy, huh? Crazy world we live in. <laughs> what? I'm just saying, if some dude came up to me anywhere and was like, "Hey, want to come back to my house and watch a movie? We yes. can drink some brews." Absolutely. I'll be like, "Dude, I'll see you there, dude." Dude, go fuck yourself, bro. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The fuck are you asking me? The fuck, dude? The fuck? Did you, dude, did you just try to grab my fucking <laughs> dick, bro? <laughs> oh, my God, dude. This is an MMA fight, dude. <laughs> Twist his dick! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Holy fuck, bro. Oh, I I got it. This 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 is leading me to another. Speaking of MMA, this is leading me to another topic. Okay, because I was speaking with a guy when I was out last week. <laughs> when I went out on a date with a woman. With <laughs> <laughs> yes, I went on a date. Yes, she was female, and she happened to be my wife. Anyways, I I got a question for you, dude. Favorite wrestler. WWE all time go. Me? Yeah. Oh. Probably Kane. John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I never seen him. Kane? Dude, I love Kane, dude. Yeah, or the I Undertaker. I love Kane. I was dude. a huge fan of Kane and the Undertaker. I like I feel like Kane always got like shit on though. Like nobody ever talks about. Kane. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll he doesn't get back. shit on. Like I don't think back then he got shit on, but nobody ever talks about. Kane. I'd have to say, okay, okay, that. So those like were the ones that like I always like imitated and stuff like that. But then like my all time favorite wrestler, I would have to say is probably Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold. Either Stone Cold, and I loved Goldberg. Goldberg. Okay. Goldberg was the shit, dude. I remember when he drove his monster truck into the fucking into the stadium, and I was Goldberg. Like, yeah, dude. I thought it was the coolest fucking thing I'd ever seen. I, I know a lot of people shit on Goldberg. A lot of people shit on... They would always say he just didn't have good fights. But he did cool stuff. He did. He yeah. was. And he was just a fucking beast. Yeah. Dude. He just looked like a fucking monster. Mm-hmm. But, uh... I love Kane, dude. I always thought Kane was really fucking cool. Um, and Sting. <clears throat> there was just something about, like... When I was, like, eight, dude. I was, like, just fucking watching fucking Stone Cold fucking... 
and crack a fucking six pack and fucking drink him right there on stage after he just fucking it, bitch slapped the fucking chick on stage. You I was can't like, do that anymore. That's a fucking man, dude. That's who I want to be. Can't do that anymore, dude. Yeah. I met a guy the other night, guys. This is really cool. <laughs> dude, uh, you're fucking we were digging out. a hole, doggy. We were out. <laughs> I'm coming out. I met a guy the other day. <laughs> You're going to go drink some brews. All right. Me and my wife were out the other night. All right. Let me rephrase this. We were out the other night and we were at this place called uh, the Millennium Fandom here in uh, Las Vegas. Really cool place for uh, people into, you know, all the shit we're into. And uh, I met this guy. He, he works for 2K Games. He makes all of the WWE Football. games. Oh. Yeah. F- <laughs> <laughs> Rugby. <laughs> He makes all the WWE games for 2K. Cool ass guy. I didn't believe him at first, but he said it's his job. All he does is uh he sits at home. He works from home and he makes all the two all the WWE games. I for mostly 2K. just sit at home and masturbate and play probably, video games. Probably. All day long. I mean, he said he doesn't go out much, so he probably just fucking chills at home. Fucking wax it and watch his fucking WWE and Makes the video games. The VG games. But he was a cool dude. He was really cool. Um, He was dressed up as Swagrid. Hagrid. Swagrid. Hagrid with swag on. What did that look like? Did that guy... Did he die? Yeah, the actor who plays him passed Okay. Because yeah. I saw people posting about that. Yeah. I didn't know what that meant. Yeah, my wife was pretty bummed. She's okay. a big Harry Potter fan. Um, What does he do? Like, so... <clears throat> why wrestling? Did he say? Who? He's just a huge wrestling fan. The guy? Yeah, so like Yeah. So he said since he was a huge wrestling fan or a huge wrestling video game fan? Both. Okay. Said since he was a kid, he said he's loved wrestling. He said he literally eats, sleeps, and breathes wrestling. So he said his job is from time he wakes up, he's watching wrestling, researching wrestling. He has to watch every single match. He has to like analyze their moves and everything like that for the video games. Uh And then he he Creates this guy can't be married. Creates the video games. I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> but he said that's his job. He's like, dude. He's like, I don't really go out much. He's like, I literally just sit at home and watch fucking wrestling. He's yeah. like, that's my job. We're like, damn, that's pretty cool. Probably makes good money too. Probably, I would assume, yeah. But yeah, he was swaggered, and then he said that he's going to be making a uh, uh, another costume, and it's going to be what did he say it was going to be. Ha- he's doing a Hagrid theme for the whole month of October, but uh, he said it was gonna be. He was wearing this just ha- like hanging out. Well, they had, like everybody was dressed up in there because Halloween's coming up, so like a lot of people were dressed up. You can come dressed up at, at the Millennium Fandom, but uh, he said he's gonna be Macho Man, Randy Savage, Randy Hagrid, or something like that. I okay. forgot what it was. So he's gonna combine Macho Man and. Hag- Hagrid from Harry Potter. I don't know. He had a, he like was telling me all about it and shit like that. I was like, fucking do it, dude. More power to you, but, brother. Yeah. So he was Swagrid the other night. And it was Hagrid. He had like the long hair and the beard. Mm-hmm. And then uh he wore like the gold glasses with like the little slots in the eyes. Yeah, oh, like okay. a big gold chain yeah. on with like the money sign and everything that like sense. that. So yeah, it was pretty That's cool. pretty funny. And he had like a big furry coat on. Cool guy. Really cool guy. We went and saw Steve-O the other night. Mm. I'm not changing subjects, but I am changing subjects because I wanted to talk about this. Okay. I'm interested. What was your honest opinion about it? About Steve-O? <clears throat> Steve-O doing stand-up. Uh, he's not good at it. No. He's not good at it for sure. Mm-hmm. But the show was really fucking funny. And it was just, I think it was, I think for me... It was the nostalgia of seeing Steve-O in person. Maybe. Because I watched him since I was a little kid. I think that's what, like, I was excited to see that. I was like, dude, that's fucking Steve-O. Yeah, like, it was really cool to see him in in the flesh. Yeah, I don't think that, uh... (sighs) God. Because I feel like, I feel like, um, like, Jackass is like... I don't know, like, almost, always feels like... They just weren't real guys because the shit they did, like the shit yeah. they did. You know what I mean? So I felt like if 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 they didn't have, because I wasn't I wasn't picturing to go in there and to watch all of. Um, if anybody's going to watch Steve O, this is some po- spoilers. Sorry, like to watch the videos and stuff like that. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be like a straight stand up. I am glad it wasn't a straight stand up. Mm. 
Because the videos are what made it worthwhile. I think I think that was the best part was not knowing what to expect. Yeah. Because he really doesn't want you to like. No. Yeah. They're very strict and everything in there, which is good. If you guys are going to see Steve, we're going to spoil the fuck out of it right now. So. But I don't think that, you know, we had this, I had this conversation with a buddy and it was like uh, talking about how. I almost spo- I did spoil it for myself before we went. Okay. Because I watched a guy on YouTube. He took in a uh, recording camera glasses and he watched the. Oh, show. You watched the whole thing. <laughs> no, I didn't. He only recorded like, like not even a, not, not even like a full minute. But so we were talking about how like there's certain people like the reality TV stars. <clears throat> there has to be a point in time like where somebody should just be like, you're not cut out for stand up comedy mm-hmm. because you're actually you're f- what you do is funny, mm-hmm. but you as a person is not mm-hmm. funny. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I feel like all those guys. Like, yeah, they've been through shit and stuff like that, but that was all, like, their drugs and whatnot like that. Mm. But I don't feel like, I don't think he had, like, a single funny bit. I don't think. It's pretty bad, like, when he comes out, he says something, he's like, oh, man, I really thought that was going to kill here in Vegas because the crowd was, like, crickets. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think that's his focus, though. I think it is. You think? I think he actually thinks that he's killing it in stand-up. Hmm. Because, like, he was trying to be punny does that make sense yeah he's like you know like i think like somebody was like dude like for me like i feel like i feel like i'm really like i'm quirky you know like i have good Mm -hmm. comebacks i could do stuff like that i'm a smart ass yeah but like i don't really necessarily think that i could do Mm stand-up because stand-up's only funny like when you could relate to what the person is joking about absolutely but when you're sitting there cracking jokes about only shit that you and three of your friends have done since the 90s Everybody's just like, oh, yeah, I, I saw that episode. Mm, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah, I feel like um, I feel like he doesn't know that he's only doing good because he's Steve-O. Yeah. Does that make sense? Uh-huh. I feel that if he wasn't Steve-O, if he wasn't Steve-O, he wouldn't he yeah. would be in a fucking like 150 person thing and they'd be like, dude, Struggling. get the fuck off the stage. Yeah. Yeah. That's I. I think that's the best way to put it. Yeah. I just I think I'm, that's the best the I'm, best way to I put it. I guess like cuz like yeah cuz like it was like literally like this over the weekend I went to uh I went to I saw Eric Griffin and stuff like that. Mm. Fucking dude, my stomach hurt, man. Mm. And like Eric Griffin had like one of the slowest He had a very slow like he has like a very slow build. Yeah. And then at yeah. the end of it, dude, it makes the whole set worthwhile. Okay. So, like, the whole time I was kind of like, oh, man, like, you know, I don't so know. So like, he can deliver on it. Yeah. And then at the end of it, like, he delivered it so nonchalantly that, like, dude, I was laughing throughout, mm-hmm. like, half of the next set. Okay. So, like, yeah, that's that's comedy. a comedian. Yeah. That's, yeah. A, that's a comedian. And it, he he just he just has, like, his delivery was totally different. I've never really, like, watched a comedian the way he, the way he worked. Mm-hmm. And it was really cool to see that. And then, like, at the end of it, not going to tell anything that happens because you guys should go check out Eric Griffin. He's fucking hilarious. But... Dude, at the end of it, I was like, I was just dying laughing. Like, I missed, I was still laughing, like, through part of Brett's shit because really? it was that fucking funny. Yeah. Hmm. So, I don't know. Steve O just, uh, I, 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 I'm going to have to agree. I'm going to have yeah. to agree that I don't think that these, just because the you're famous, were fucking hilarious, yeah. so, just I because mean, you're I, famous doesn't mean you can do absolutely anything that you want to do. He, he, <laughs> he, he should stick to being a jackass. Exactly. That's that's probably the best part. Like my favorite part about it was like his video reel before the show started, Mm -hmm. like the early bird thing. Yeah, I was fucking dying the whole time because I felt like I was watching fucking a new Jackass movie Mm -hmm. that was completely uncensored. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know. I wish they would let him do that because like even seeing some of the the Knoxville bits he was showing. Yeah, dude, those guys are fucking nuts. Damn, dude. But I don't think like Knoxville or any of those guys have ever tried doing stand up. Mm -mm. They know their place. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. I just think like one of them. Hey guys, if you li- like like listening to this, like you know, just sit them down. Be like Steve, Stevie Weavy. He should man. he should definitely stick to his podcast too because his podcast, his podcast is fucking is incredible. Hilarious. Yeah. I love his podcast, dude. I wish I was as famous as Steve. Like we're over here talking shit. We're fucking mere peasants. Who are we? Who are we? Who the fuck are we? He could be the funniest fucking guy on the planet. He's awesome. Oh my God, dude. I'm sorry, Steve-O. I had a great time at your show. If you're listening to this dude. Well, we're never getting him on. Just never roast, getting him on. Just, just roast the whole thing. Whatever. I'm going to delete this. We could edit that out. Mm-hmm. We can, we'll edit that out. 
Half the podcast is Don't on. go and watch it. It's a waste of money. Uh, <laughs> damn. You think? Huh? You think? I kind of felt like it might have been a little bit. It was for me, dude. I spent $60 on drinks. <laughs> and then spilt one. God damn it, dude. <laughs> I feel like. God damn it. I'm not going to lie. I feel like that show is probably like 20 bucks in any other state. Because we're in Vegas, we I spent more money on three drinks that night than I did on my ticket, and I was still upset about how much I spent on my ticket. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, I'm gonna look at tickets in other cities now. I bet, I bet it's just because it was Vegas. There's no fucking way he's selling out venues that big. Because there was probably he probably what, is there was probably a couple thousand people there. Uh, you think? I think maybe maybe like fifteen hundred, two thousand. I'd say fifteen hundred. Yeah. At least. I thought there was going to be a lot more people. I did, too. But then coming to find out $270 for a fucking seat to see mm-hmm. Steve-O talk about his new girlfriend or his wife, whatever she is. Mm-hmm. Eh, not worth it. Yes, the bits were bad. The videos were hilarious. Mm. Yeah. At a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give it like a solid 3. Excitement of seeing Steve-O? Hard 9. Yeah. That's what Hard I said. Nine. I think that was literally like the best part was like the like the nostalgia of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like of of seeing him in person. I'll tell you what was nostalgic. Hmm. I got to hang out with Evan Stone over the weekend. God damn it, dude! Dude, my wife will not stop talking about him. <laughs> she didn't even meet him. She didn't even meet him. She watched one video. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Dude, nicest fucking guy I have ever met on the planet. Like, everybody, like, dude. I'll it, never perform the same again. No, you won't. It's Evan fucking Stone, dude. Like, I wanted to fucking just jerk the dude off for a minute. Be like, bro, I've been watching your shit since before I was even allowed to watch it legally. Was he bulging in his pants? Probably, dude. He had on, like, he you didn't did, look? Huh? You didn't look? No, he was just, like, chilling the whole night and just, like. He, just, he wasn't chilling with his so, dick like, out? No, we were all just smoking cigars and hanging out. And he's How big do you think he is? Him? A fucking bigger than I could ever imagine me. Ever. Like like nine, ten, probably at least. No. Look it up. How big is Evan Stone's <clears throat> dick? Um <clears throat> I guarantee you, he's got like he was like the first male porn star to receive a and his fucking wife, dude, is the porn star that had alleg- uh, the al- uh, did all the allegations against Trump. That's kind of funny. Really? Yeah, because they didn't really even like there was other people talking about like all that shit and they were like, Oh, okay, cool. Busty blonde sucks and fucks big How dick. Eight point five to nine inches, fully, fully erect. erect. Wow, the guy's a fucking legend, bro. Wow. Like San he's Fernando like, Valley is the porn mecca. He's like the, the Ron States. Jeremy of like the nineties and two thousands. Okay, like okay. So I saw him and like I didn't even know it was him because he does he look the same? Huh. Yeah, like, I was like, I know that guy. Like, I fucking know who he is. So like, he doesn't look old or anything? No, so it's after, like, the, it's after the show and everything like that, and we're just, we're hanging out in, like, the venue, and they're smoking cigars and stuff, having drinks, and then, like, I'm like, that fucking guy, like, he's gotta be a porn star. Mm-hmm. He's gotta be a, I, he had to be a porn star, you can tell by his fucking shirt he was wearing. <laughs> why, um, why, why? Because it costs more than half this podcast room. Was it, like, fucking Gucci or something? Very silky. Louis Vuitton. Like, it was flowing, dude. Like, there was yeah. no wind, and it was still flapping. Yeah. Not even... Along with his luscious mane. Fuck. Like, dude, like, your hair looks good, but this guy has a fucking mane, Like, bro. Fabio. He looks like Fabio. Oh, my God, dude. Like, um... He kept talking about, like, uh... Like, the Greek orgies and stuff like that. And Greek like, orgies? Yeah, like he's like, that's his his thing or what? I don't know. He's like, he's like, hey, let's all just have like a Greek orgy. And I'm like, this guy's got to be a fucking porn star. I'm like, I'm like talking to people. Was anybody even Greek? No, but he's like, and they're like, dude, that's, and then uh, one of the guys was like, uh, he's like, yeah, that's back when a bunch of dudes sit around and fuck each other. And he's like, as long as you're fucking, like, you know, as long as he's like, dude, like you should, you know, discriminate against. And I'm like, so he's taking it in the chili ring. Or, or giving it in the chili ring. I'm like, that's Evan Stone. This is this is Evan fucking. This is Evan, this has to be Evan Stone. Like I'm like looking at. I'm like, guys, nobody realizes Evan Stone. So anyways, like we're sitting there, and then finally somebody was like, Hey, Evan. And I was like, Ah, I yeah. knew it. Got him. I knew it. So like, super nice guy. His wife is really nice too. And then like we're getting ready to leave, and he jumps up, and I was like, Dude, dude. Like I I went in. I went in. I was like, I went to shake his hand, and he was like, I was like, been a big fan of yours for years, man. And he's like, oh, brother, sure. And he like jumps up and gives me a hug. Really? Yeah. Uh, so I was like, I didn't feel his dick or anything, but like it would have been cool if I did. Do you think that do you think that's weird? 
What? To say that? That you're a fan? Yeah. No, oh, dude. like a male porn star? Absolutely not. No. I'm not. I'm going to give props where props are deserved. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. The guy's got... Like, is it weird? <laughs> yeah, like if you see a bodybuilder that's twice your size, you're going to be like, dude, fucking, you're ripped, bro. Yeah, but like... You're letting the guy know you like you've seen his dick. Uh, the whole world's seen his dick. What do I sound like? What, why am I sounding like? Uh, <laughs> you've seen his dick. Yeah, like why are you so like? like what's what's that guy's name? <laughs> like whoa, hey! <laughs> I his dick. Come on, come on! I mean, you've seen, you've seen his, his dick. You've seen his dick. Yeah, like I forget yeah. that guy's name. Fuck, dude, what's his name? The guy's like one of my favorite actors too. <laughs> I don't even know who he is. He was in Joe Dirt. Yeah, yeah. Like whoa, come on. <laughs> Wow. Talking to my guy all wrong. You do that again, I'll uh, I'll stab you in the eye with a soldering iron. <laughs> the fuck, dude? I don't remember his name. But uh, dude, why is that weird to you? Are you? I not, don't know. You just not manly. Are you not comfortable in your skin? I, I don't know. I mean, I guess I don't know. Like, like, do you compliment? I like. I watch porn, dude. Like, I watch. You know, I'm like, I'm not embarrassed. Like, about I see. It. I see going up to like a chick. Not only that, but like I've been infatuated. I think, okay, wait. I think that would be. I would think that I think that would be more weird. Can I finish what I was about to say? Cause we're talking Go about ahead. dicks, and I said infatuated. Go ahead. <laughs> I was in love with Jesse Jane when I was younger. Okay, and he did. You remember the Pirates movie? Like it was the first porno to ever hit Blu-ray. Mm -hmm. It was Evan Stone was in that shit, dog. Okay, pretty okay. sure. Don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure that's the one. Because Evan Stone was in like everything. Was it Vivid or whatever it is? So be more weird. Check this out. All right, everybody out there, is Check it weird out. that I told? A porn star that I've been a big, big fan of his. Fucking tell us what you think. I don't think it's weird. I gotta run a debate on that one, bro. What? I gotta run a debate on that one. Like, like with the fans, I want to hear what they have to say. With that, with with our listeners, I have. I want to hear. I want to know what they have to say. Is that weird? I don't think so. Is that weird? I don't know. Maybe it's weird for me. That's just you me. wouldn't say that. What did? Are you like? That's just me. Do you think that's gay? It's it's pushing it. It's pushing the envelope. I don't think so. It's pushing the envelope. I don't think so. Into the gay court. No way, because like if somebody, because like I've it's had plenty of people come up like, the gay "Hey man, I'm a big fan of your band," or "Hey man, That's I love different. your podcast." That's different. Why is that different? I'm a dude. It's completely different. Though. It's not different just because you watch nobody's seen your naked. Dick. How do you know that? Like you've seen this guy's ass, dude. Yeah, you've seen this guy's dick. Okay. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Maybe it's different. Bro, are you homophobic? I'm not homophobic. Dude. I'm, 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 dude. Whoa, 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 back up. Do you hate gays? Back up. <laughs> <laughs> are you not comfortable enough with your penis size to no, compliment that's Evan? Not, that's not what I'm saying. Stone. That's not what I'm saying, dude. I'm just saying, like, God nicest it, fucking dude. guy I have ever met. Everybody out there, you were in my were, shoes. You were attacking you me because you feel thing. like it's gay. No, you're being homophobic. Yeah, you feel like I'm you're gay attacking me because you feel like it's gay. No, it's people like you. Now, I can't <laughs> say that. I can't say that because if I was out on the street and I ran into Johnny Sins, I'd be like, dude, big fan. Big fan of your exactly. Work, bro. It's just like me. So like, if I if but I, I would not go for the hug. If dude, I see a, then your dick rubs what? his and you just no feel way, like, dude. You just feel like if you got fucking if you got John fucking Cena in front of you, not that you're gonna see him, um, <laughs> and, and you're like, dude, I'm a huge fan of yours, and he's like, oh, for sure, his brother, and goes in and gives you yeah, the bro that's hug. Different. That's different. How is that different? Never seen his dick. How not? He's been naked. I've seen his ass in a movie. Yeah, but you know what I said. John Cena's got a nice ass. <laughs> He's got a tight little ass Jesus on him. Jesus Christ, dude, even his ass is ripped. Why is mine all flabby? Where's John Cena's fucking love handles, huh, guys? I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not like... Compliment or deserve, dude. Okay, I get that. Like That's I was cool. like, bro, I've been a big fan. If I if I ran into if I ran into like a female porn star, say I run into fucking Lena Rhodes, mm. I'm gonna be like, oh my God, I'm a big fan. Am I gonna be like, oh no, I don't want your titties touching me. You've been, I've See, seen them naked. No, it's a dick. It's boobs. It's a dick. No, that's same the, difference. That's the question I was gonna ask. I was gonna ask: Is it more weird to say it to a female porn star than it is a male porn star? Absolutely, like, dude. To a chick, because if you're saying it to like a female porn star, then they're just like, oh my god, it's another thirsty guy. It's you on your. It's you on the beach with your fucking <laughs> pant legs rolled up. That's bro. fucking GQ on the beach. <laughs> it's All you right. on the beach with your pant legs. You're trying to All fucking right. slide enough. in. Fair enough. 
You're like, oh, it's a chick, so I'm going to compliment her. Yeah. No, you know what? Dudes fucking work just as hard, bro. And you know what? No, and I, fact, get it, I get it. I get I've it. I've seen him work 10 times as hard as any chick out there because uh, mm. he's always hard. Always hard. Rock always hard. hard. <laughs> fucking rock fucking hard, bro. Hard as a stone. <laughs> Evan Stone. Get it? Yeah. Uh, Evan. Jesus Christ. You got to come on the know, podcast, dude. bro. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I would have him on. Absolutely, I would have him on. And maybe, maybe I think that maybe um, I'd be like, dude, can you slam your dick right here and outline it, dude? So we have like a fucking, we have a a a a, a, a template of his dick right here on our. This table, boils bro. down to what I was saying about how like people have they 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 do things because they're afraid of what other people will think of them, uh-huh. or they want to stand out. They want to do things like that, dude. The guy's he's a, he's a legend, man. Yeah. Like i complimented him i've of course i've watched shit tons of his videos of course there's been times where i'm like the guy's fucking huge bro <laughs> he's got a god, big dude god damn jesus christ so would it be the same as a uh uh reverse then for a chick to come up to him and be like hey i'm a big fan of your work absolutely he's probably gonna fuck her too her you're gonna try fucking me you never know. He's talking about those Greek orgies, bro. Exactly. He probably wanted to plow you, bro. If he would have been like, hey, you want to come would back you, to the room? Would you have let him? God, no. All right. All right. That's all I wanted to ask. Are you kidding That's me, dude? That's all I wanted to ask is I would never shit the same. <laughs> <laughs> Eight and a half to nine inches is fucking, dude. That's a lot of meat. That's, that's a like, lot of meat. That's like my fucking first fucking anal fucking probe, a fist with spirit fingers. That's bro, a lot of meat at dude. the same time. That's a lot of fucking meat right there, bro. Yeah, Jesus Christ. That's like one and done. And yeah. I'm fuck. I got a colostomy bag after that, bro. Cause that shit <laughs> yeah. broke. It's just fucking that's shit broke, falling out, dog. Bro. What happened to you? Oh, Evan Stone happened. <laughs> Evan Stone. <laughs> Oh, Evan Stone fucked me. <laughs> <laughs> so is this something you were born with? Oh, no. Uh, Evan Stone got a hold of me one night. Oh. I had a few too many drinks and said, hey, been a big fan. <laughs> Not gay, guys, by the way. Hey, you keep talking about those Greek orgies. You're getting me all hot bothered <laughs> over here. <laughs> Jesus, man. Good God. Super cool dude. Everybody got to hang out with Evan Stone. I was <laughs> excited. You guys tell us what you think, though. Do you think it's weird that I got a hug? I don't think it's weird. I Is don't it think weird, it's weird that I think it's I weird? I think it's weird. All right. I'm sorry, dude. I'm I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. You know, but I got to come on with your, my fucking shit. No, that's cool, though. That's just... That's just that's, uh, my, that's my belief. That's my religion, Goose. My religion. And you know what's really funny is, like, you're afraid to give Evan Stone a hug, but I've literally watched you and our vocalist chase each other around naked. Yeah. So, yeah. I still give you guys hugs. I've seen both of your dicks. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. just not Evan Stone caliber, but like n- nowhere near. Fair enough. <laughs> Thank you for coming there on that one. Do you think that maybe you think maybe you're jealous that you got to meet him? No, that you his dick's bigger than yours, and that's why you can't hug could him. Could be it. That could be you it. Think that's what you think it could be the fact that my wife is obsessed <laughs> with this guy. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It could be the fact that Evan Stone's her wallpaper. That's like I like I said though. Like if I was out on the street and I ran into Johnny Sands, I'd be like, dude, that's fucking Johnny Sands. Like, bro, let me get a picture with you. I saw what's your name? The chick with the octopusy. Okay. What's her name? Uh Dija Morgan. Mm. I saw Dija Morgan at a fucking at an anime convention out here. Mm. I was like, Did you approach her? I was like, that's Dija Morgan. Did you approach her? I did. Ah. Uh, I was like, hey, uh, I'm, I'm a really big fan of her. She's like, thank you. She's like, thank you, Big Daddy Dick, 6969. <laughs> she knew you. your username. <laughs> no, I was like, I'm a really big fan here. She was thank like, you, she was Thundercock6565. Like, it wasn't, to them, it's not weird. That's their career. Yeah. yeah. So like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like somebody coming, like, same difference you coming up to you in a band, being like, bro, I love your band. I love yeah. your podcast. Yeah. You're like, hey, thanks, bro. To them, that's just their job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They view it differently. It's because you're looking at it as like, this guy gets naked and fucks, or she gets naked and fucks. It's weird. Yeah. It's like, no, it's not. That's just their career. Uh-huh. You know, no, I don't yeah. know. I don't see anything weird about it, but like it was the same thing. Uh, Goose, I, I was just asking, bro. I was just asking, and now I feel like everybody's gonna you fucking you're come a piece shit of on shit, me, dude. Everybody's gonna come <laughs> fucking shit on me in the comments. There's gonna be like five rednecks. They're like <laughs> right there with you, brother. <laughs> fucking hell yeah, brother. I would not be fucking approaching that guy. No pee pee to pee pee contact for me. <laughs> Fuck that. I ain't no faggot. God damn it, dude. <laughs> sorry, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I, I guess I guess it's 2022. You gotta fucking you gotta be open to everything now. I'm just saying. 
I never knew that about you. <laughs> no, I'm not. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Should we do today in history? Jesus Christ. Yeah, now that we hit. all now that we all know you're fucking Let's hit today in history. I'm, dude, I see why Apple fucking flagged our first episode. Let's hit today in history. Because you're like, that guy. That fucking redneck on that fucking podcast. <laughs> Fuck that. You know what the dude. best part about it is though? Now everybody's gonna view me differently. We bro. came on here talking about this. You're As worried. if they didn't already know I was a fucking You're worried about your brother. Touching dicks with a fucking porn star, but you're over here fucking chewing pouches on the podcast. <laughs> in those pouches, baby. I didn't want any uh, any grit in my teeth, bro. Mm. Oh, we didn't even get to talk about hey. fucking outlaw, man. Let's talk about that real quick. Let's hit some. You got some. You got, we got some time. Let's do the episode time. back. I ain't going nowhere. We want to give a, a quick shout out, guys, to some outlaw. Me and Goose, we're we're dippers. We're dippers. Um, uh, if that's something you guys didn't know about us, we are. We we like to we like to chew the tobacco here and there. You uh, learned some cool facts about this. I wanted to hear about these because you you told me that you had some cool shit you wanted to talk about. Yeah, man. About what? Uh, uh, just dipping in general? <clears throat> well, it's not. It's tobacco free. It is tobacco free. Yeah, it's got nicotine. It's got but nicotine. You were you were saying there's something <laughs> fascinating about the the the. The, the, why he uses the tea leaves instead of the tobacco and shit like that. You watch like a whole documentary on well, it. Well, that was different. That was he was talking about actual real tobacco, like mm-hmm. uh, like the big the big brands like Copenhagen, Skull, all that shit. Well, but, what's wrong um, with those? They'll usually chew as Hagen. Um, it, it, no, he was just like because there's like a big you know the big thing the big thing behind it, and I'm sure some people are. Uh, this is this is like a really um. I guarantee you a lot of people that listen to this dip. So this is like a really uh, uh, what am I? What am I trying to say here? Like a uh, grain of salt. Take this with a grain of salt. Uh, but he did an interview. I don't know if you guys follow Outlaw or not on YouTube. I think it was like two, three years ago. He did an interview with a doctor, and this doctor has been studying um, like like tobacco products and mm-hmm. stuff like that for like over 20, like 24 years, like mainstream tobacco. products. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, he studies like everything, everything in your mouth, like from mouth cancer, Evan stone, mouth, mouth cancer, <laughs> Evan stone. No, but he studies like everything he said to sores, to canker sores mm-hmm. all the way, everything minus like, uh, like anything a dentist would deal with like okay. cavities. Or yeah. 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 Like yeah. That. So he said he considers himself an expert in mouth cancer. Mm-hmm. And he said that, you know, I think he said he was like 15 years into it or something like that. But, or he was in, in, uh, what is it? When you're, when you're becoming a doctor in practice or whatever. <clears throat> um, your doctors in Alabama mm-hmm. of all places. He said like everybody fucking chews down there. Mm-hmm. And he said he was like, I, I, he said he was noticing not a lot of people were coming in with mouth cancer. Yeah. People that have that chew been chewing their entire life. Because down there they start when they're like six. Yeah. So he said he was like, that's really, really interesting. But he said uh, ma- a big majority of people that were coming in with cancers in their mouth or lungs or throat uh-huh. were smokers. Okay. In their mouth. Yeah. Okay. So he said that a lot of it, it it's, it's like an ego is like really in, in, de- in depth with like all the like, you know, statistics on things. Um, but he said it has to do with burning the tar in a cigarette. That's where you will get like, a, that's where a lot of the, you know, side effects of can come like bad side effects can come from is smoking. Okay. So he said he would, he would advise patients of his that smoked to dip instead because it is a safer alternative. And he said doing his studies over the years, he said it is sl- almost slim to none the percentage of people that can get mouth cancer from dipping tobacco. So he said that he would, he would always, he would always uh, recommend smokeless tobacco over smoking or vaping. He said even vaping is really, really terrible for your lungs. Oh, they're finding that shit out now. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's actually like you're saying it's worse than cigarettes. Yeah. So he was, he was just talking about all that, but uh, outlaw guys, he's got, he's got a dip here. Um, that he makes it is there's no tobacco in it and the reason for that i found out is because uh he said that the the rules and regulations that the government are putting on tobacco it just made it way too hard for a small company like his to uh to uh keep producing actual tobacco products so he he found an alternative it's uh tea leaves Mm -hmm. so it's definitely you know a lot bigger 
mm-hmm. bigger uh, cut. It's called the fat cut. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so there's no there's nicotine in it, but there's no tobacco in it. But coming coming from the, I was watching the video on that, like I said, that doctor, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Coming from that, he said like, obviously there's a, there's a chance you could, you know, oh well, yeah, get it or something or God damn it. <laughs> get something like that, mouth cancer or anything like that. But he said that you know, almost like all his studies, he's found it to be a lot safer. Than smoking or vaping or anything like that. So it's actually a safer alternative than all the other shit. That's what this guy's saying, huh? As as, as far as as far as how true that is, I I have no idea, no fucking idea. Interesting. I mean, I know it is. You know, people say it's nasty. It's nasty. Well, of course, dipping. Um, I think it's just nasty. As you're fucking just spitting. Yeah. And holding a big ass fucking thing of spit in your hand. Yeah. So people say that, you know, it's, it's, it, it can be nasty. You know, I've heard, I've seen pictures and stuff of people losing their teeth and fucking, you know, you can get gum disease and stuff like that from it. I feel like it's like drinking. You can get cirrhosis of the liver if you drink. Some That's people it, man. Do That's it. Don't. Like I know of guys that have, that have dipped for fucking 20, 30, 40 years. Don't have any issues. Don't have any issues with it, man. But I also so, know people that say they've gotten throat cancer from it. Yeah. <clears throat> so like it's our neighbor, like, our old neighbor back in Colorado. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know. But he was a smoker, too. He smoked and dipped. There so you go. So now I wonder. There you go. Because I know, like, a lot of the people that do, like, they, they do all forms. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. That could be, this guy could be onto something. And then there was, I was, like, checking, like, the comment threads on it. And, like, people were, like, uh, I was a smoker for 15, 20 years. Switched to uh, smoke, switched to dip, smokeless tobacco. Uh-huh. And they said they've never felt better. Really? Yeah. I know they say better. Like, they say one Their can health of, got better. One can of dip is like equivalent to like eighty cigarettes. Yeah, that's what they say. So the difference is is you're not taking that into your your lungs. You're not taking that into your lungs. It's not passing by your throat. I could picture. So one of the things I wonder too is if anybody's ever broke down the the like the correlation between people who chew and spit and people who gut it. Yeah. Yeah. Because I feel like maybe that's when it really fucks up the whole start body. Start fucking you up. Mm-hmm. Cause you probably that I can shit see that fucking throat's bad. I can see that. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't, don't know. know. It's really interesting. It was a really interesting. Or maybe it's the people that got it that fucking build a tolerance to it and don't have any mm. issues. Because I know, I know, like where you're talking, like down south and shit. None of them fucking spit. They just, yeah, they just got that shit. I'm like, dude, that's gnarly, bro. Yeah, yeah. That was so. way too gnarly. I'd puke my fucking brains out. Mm. But uh, are we the bitches? He was talking about that, and then he 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 just uh, he talks like stuff about like the warning labels on it and everything like that. Um, the FDA had to start regulating it and stuff mm-hmm. like that, and uh, putting their putting their labels their warning labels on it because that it was a tobacco product, and the fact that smoke cigarettes had to have the warning label, they had to put the warning labels on chew as well because it hmm. was a tobacco product. But he said it goes all the way back to. The Indians, the Indians chew tobacco. They all did, yeah. Yeah, a lot of yeah. So like, it's it's a really interesting uh, interview that the that outlaw did I'm with this dude. Out. Yeah, it was really good. It was really cool. So it gets all serious. Yeah, it's super serious. Because anyway, so we what we started this off with, if you guys chew and stuff like that, you're looking to get out of it. I would definitely try out this outlaw. We're not sponsored. We're not fucking affiliates or anything with this. Just something that we started trying and we really really liked it and. uh it's got nicotine. Like I don't it's get nicotine, quite the buzz yeah. I do off of like Copenhagen. But you can definitely feel something personally. Yeah. But you definitely get a you get a good little buzz off. You of definitely feel something. Because I've tried all kinds of shit. I've done the nicotine pouches. I've done coffee. I've done all that shit. Yeah. And nothing nothing really hits me mm-hmm. in any way. And these actually like you know if I get a good fat pinch in there. Yeah. It does good. Yeah. And it's cheaper than tobacco. And I would say it definitely. I would say it definitely packs a lot better than it than it than I would say some of the other alternatives do. Yeah, I will agree. Feels a little more natural because every time I do like obviously nicotine, it'll never be exactly the same. I've done like but... the nicotine pouches; they make me so sick. Dude. Yeah, just like just get a gut ache. Like the Zins. Them. Yeah, yeah, they, those those are fucking wreck, wreck my stomach. I don't know why. I just I don't I don't want anything to do with them. But uh, shout out to Outlaw. Shout out to to you, man. Uh, he's from Colorado. He's from Colorado. Right. Same place we're from, so uh, he's doing a good job with this stuff, dude. And I thought, I thought he he took the I thought he took the tobacco out because he was like against tobacco, but no, that's not it at all. He took it out because it was just becoming too expensive for him to keep producing it with tobacco. So that's cool. Yeah, 
All right, there you guys have it. Outlaw Dip. Give it a shot. Because I think he still chews like Copenhagen and shit too. Probably because that guy had fucking. He's like known for all that. Hey, he's got the. He did the mud jug too, right? Mm-hmm. Isn't he? Isn't that his? He's like one of the big mud jug guys. Yeah. <clears throat> all right, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. Oh, dude, this is gonna be a good one. I ain't got my glasses on today. Um, Windows I, Alt on. Done did screen broke them. They just this. ain't working too well anymore. So. All right, we're screen recording. T- uh, today is uh, October 19, 2022, guys. You go Spooky first, season. Dog. Uh, all right, let's go. Uh, 1936, the 30s, the Roaring 30s. All right. Um, college football ranked. Uh, journalists rank college football. This the Associated Press releases a poll of 35 sports writers evaluating American college football teams in the Minnesota Minnesota, Minnesota. Golden Gophers take the top spot. The AP poll will become the premier ranking system for both uh, college collegiate collegiate, collegiate, yeah. collegiate football and basketball, and will never fail to spark an argument. Hmm. I don't know what any of that fucking means. Me neither. Me neither. I'm not, we don't watch I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a football guy, so. It's the AP poll. Whatever Sounds that is. fascinating. Sounds cool. Oh, dude, I got a good one. All right, we're, we're going to go ahead and kick it up to 1985. 1985, the first blockbuster night. Software entrepreneur David Cook opens his first video rental store in Dallas, offering customers a streamlined experience of large selection. The blockbuster chain will grow to more than 8,000 stores by 2010 before competition from online streaming services, fuck the internet, run, ruin it virtually mm. out of business. Man, that's sad, dude. Today was the day, dude. First blockbuster. The headquarters is in Denver, Colorado. You see oh, that? How weird. Everything's coming from Colorado right now. That is weird, huh? Man. Do you remember Blockbuster? There, there really man? was. I do. Like I've, I've like because like, I feel like they died before you got old enough to really vaguely know. remember it being a kid. Mm-hmm. Um, Dude, it was a shit. Cause I used to do Blockbuster and Hollywood video. There really was a scent, huh? Oh god, yeah. there really was like a distinct scent in Blockbuster. You knew when you went into a Blockbuster, like or, or a Hollywood video. Like you could like go in blindfolded, huh? And know you were in a fucking Blockbuster. Pretty. Isn't much. there one left? I think there's one left. Yeah. I don't know why they all smell like that. Maybe it's just the carpet. I feel like back bees. then a lot of Everything stores smelled the same. A lot of stores had a weird scent. Yeah. And it was usually just really fucking like musty carpet. Uh huh. You but, see Toys R Us is coming back? Are they really? Yeah. That's cool. I think uh I think Macy's or JC Penny is I think they're buying it. Really? And they're gonna start putting them in their stores again. And then eventually I think they said they wanted to work up to actually opening full Toys R Us stores again. Dude, that's dope. Yeah. Well, they're still in Canada, right? I don't know. They were still in Canada, I think. They just shut down here in the United States. I think so, yeah. All right, guys. uh, 1987. Why do I keep getting like this? Monday crash. Dumbass shit. Uh, Mayhem strikes Wall Street and world markets. Hong Kong stock market is the first domino to fall in a cascade of global financial markets sent tumbling by a combination of faulty computer assisted trading, oil price fluctuations, missile attacks on U.S. vessels, and even a cyclone in the U.K. The Dow Jones falls by percent by a perceptuous 508 points or more than 22 percent. Jesus. Wow. I think we talked about that with uh, what's his name? Jay Gallon. Jay Gallon. Also, last podcast. It was, huh? <clears throat> That's pretty crazy. I don't know shit about the stock market. I don't guys. either. I don't either. What an interesting day. All right. Not a. Uh, 1989. Guildford 4 released after 15 years in prison. The fuck is that? About to find out. Yep. After serving 15 years in prison, <laughs> the Guildford 4 released following the investigation that cast doubts on their confessions. The four men have been sentenced to life in prison for the 1975 bombing of pubs in Guildford. Surrey? Siri? Surrey? Surrey that killed five people and injured hundreds. This huh. is the collected names of two groups whose conventions in English court in 1975 and 76 Guilford bombing October 5th were eventually squashed. So they lied about it? I don't know. That's what I'm getting out of that. Why would you lie? That's the same thing. They just wanted the fame, dude. You think so? Maybe. Yeah. It says right there, sentence to life in prison, the bombing. It says, uh, cast doubts on their confessions. They're saying that their confessions were inaccurate. They're false. 
includes conviction in English courts. I just I have guilt with purple only. Hmm. Long campaign for Justice Guilford four were wrongly convicted of bombings carried out. You see that guy's hair? Convicted. That guy's hair? That guy looks like Evan Stone. Evan Stone hair right there, he, dude. He kind of looks like him. Oh my god. He kind of looks like him. <laughs> All quick, right, guys, that's today in history. Are you looking up Evan Stone? Dude, be careful. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna this that's, is gonna be him right there. Oh dude. my god, dude. That is not a good looking guy, bro. Dude, Get back the in the fuck day, out of here. Dude, that's a bad picture. You got to find him back in his heyday. Dude, okay, I'm saying now. You were like, yeah, he still looks good, bro. Dude, he's fucking ripped, dude. Is that him? <laughs> I don't know. Let's go Evan Stone. Let me see. There's got to be some. Oh, right there, right there, right there. That's probably him like fucking a fucking chick right there, dude. Probably. Looking at the sound chick, he's like, you're next, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> Good God, dude. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, don't know. These are all bad pictures, man. You got to meet the guy in person. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just trying to sound all fucking cool. Everybody only seen him through a fucking TV screen. So Yeah, nobody's ever actually like paid attention to Evan Stone's face. Just his, fucking Just his penis. All right, I better be careful scrolling here. Right there, right there, the fucking pirate suit. See? Left. Where? You were on it, bud. Right here? Yeah. Dude. Okay. Look at that shit, All right. dude. All right. That's a little better. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I feel like it's... You feel like huh. what? You feel like his face is too chiseled for you because you're jealous <laughs> of his dick? His face is too fucking chiseled. Holds like, I think he has too mannish features fair for Fair enough. Me. Fair enough. He is a good looking dude. His dick's Fuck got it. like eight inches on mine, so... Dude. Fuck it. Dude. He's still about the same size, too. He's fucking ripped, bro. Really? How old is he? I don't know how old he is. Look that up. How old is Evan Stone? He's from Iowa. I wonder if he knows Slipknot. Look at all those videos, dude. Jesus, dude. All right. I better be careful on his wiki. Uh, He is... What the hell? There's nothing on his age. 1997. Dude, this guy's been fucking as long as I've been alive. Exactly, dude. Dude, dude god he's damn. still fucking, I bet. All right, I got to just look up Evan Stone age. Since it's not given to me on here. Evan Stone age. 58. 58 years old, dude. 58, all right. 58 years old. He's still in fucking great shape, dude. Like, Who's in Seinfeld? Oh, that's a parody. Okay. <laughs> I will be I will be I viewing will be, that one later. I will be watching Bewitched Housewives tonight. <laughs> the Lair. <laughs> Dude. How do you do a Seinfeld parody oh, parody? How do you not? A porn parody. You can do a porn parody of anything. Jesus, dude. He is a member of the famous actor, Old Green Bever Stone. Dude, fuck, dude. The Bikini Cave Girl, bro. Yeah. God damn, Tarzina? Dude. Jiggle Tar in the Jungle? <laughs> <laughs> this ain't Avatar? X, X, X. God damn, yeah, bro. Pirates in. too. So I think that's the one I was thinking of, maybe. Stagnetti's Revenge. Right there. Look at Jesse Jane pulled up. I fucking told you, bro. Jesus Christ. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was uh, Evan Stone in Today in History. Uh, today is October 19th, 2022. Spooky season. I hope everybody's in the spooky spirit. Absolutely. We'll have another podcast up before Halloween. I hope everybody's in the spooky spirit. I hope everybody is uh, uh, going to have fucking have a good Halloween. Everybody's going to get sloshed. I hope everybody parties. Parties hardy. Parties. Parties hardy. But uh, yeah, guys, thank you for everybody that's listening to this first episode. It's probably going to be a total flop, but I'm just glad to be back. Get the wheels rolling. It's nice to get back into the flow of things. Um, kind of knocking the dust and fucking dirt off the cogs, exactly, bro. dude. It's been uh, it's been one hell of a fucking year. And uh, sorry to everybody out there that we were we were actually really just starting to gain traction, and I had to fucking bail out like a little bitch. But that's what love we're back. Do to you. That's Ladies what love will do to you. We're dude. back. Love, will, love is a strange thing, isn't it? It really is. Love is a strange thing. And man. just when you think you got it, it's really fucking interesting, man. Like to think like two people, two human beings, 
find each other attractive. <laughs> no, check it out. Two human beings find each other. I'm attractive. sorry, I'm listening. I'm trying to listen with a straight face. And like, you gotta like, you gotta like incorporate each other in your life. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's interesting. Like Actually, to really sit back and think about that. Like incorporating each other into like life was easy. It was when she started incorporating other people into her life that I really got fucked up. So fair enough. I can't wait <laughs> until we're at the point where I can start like making jokes about <laughs> about things. But um incorporating her for me was a piece of cake. Apparently for her, incorporating me and whoever else she was with was, you know. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. You got a synopsis on what happened to him. <laughs> Because it was very vague in the beginning of this podcast, but cat's out of the bag now. Cat's out of the bag. Door only goes out. She'll go back in. <laughs> Monkey's out of the bottle. God um, damn it, dude. So anyways. This has been fun. This has this been, been this fun. Been it's a good time. first episode this back. It's been a good time. You guys know that uh, now that we've dropped this one, we're going to be back to regular rotations. We will be, are we doing Friday mornings, I think? Uh yeah, let's shoot for Friday mornings. I think that's what we talked about. Yeah, let's Friday shoot mornings. for Friday mornings. Um, so we'll be uploading regularly once a week on Fridays. Um, of course we'll start getting guests and stuff back here in the studio. We're just gonna get our footing back. Uh, we got a band podcast coming up. We haven't done yep. one of those in a long time. Yep. Um, I think we'll get we'll get the merch store and everything back up for everybody out there. And then uh, yeah, I appreciate everybody that listens to this. I hope you guys stick around with us. And we're not going anywhere this time. So, in theory, we shouldn't be. So, yeah, hopefully not. We're gonna be, we're gonna be sticking but, around. Uh, guys. Yeah, you know what it goes. If we said anything that offends you, go fuck yourselves. Cheers, guys. Or get fucked by Emma Stone. Love you. Peace out, people. <laughs>